Geography isn't just about memorizing maps and capitals. It's about understanding how people, places, and the planet is interconnected. To make sense of the world, geographies use something called the five themes of geography. Let's break them down. First up is location. This answers the question, where is it? There are two ways to describe this. First is absolute location. That is the exact, usually given in latitude and longitude location of where something is. For example, the absolute location of London, England is about 51.5 degrees north and 0.1 degrees west. Relative location describes a place in relation to others. For example, Rome, Italy is just inland from the Mediterranean Sea and directly south of the Alps. Absolute location gives precision, while relative location shows connections. Next is place. This theme looks at the characteristics that make somewhere unique. Physical characteristics include items like mountains, rivers, climate, and wildlife. For example, Mount Everest is defined by its extreme altitude and rugged terrain. Human characteristics include culture, architecture, language, and traditions. For example, New York City is known for its skyscrapers, Broadway theaters, and cultural diversity. Third is region. A region is an area grouped together because it shares something in common. There are three main types. Formal regions have clear boundaries and are defined by official features like laws, climate, or language. Examples include the Sahara Desert, defined by its dry climate, or the country of China, defined by its political borders. Functional regions are organized around a central point and the connections to it. For example, the New York City subway system connects people to the city center, and Silicon Valley in California is a hub of technology companies connected through business and innovation. Perceptual regions are based on how people see or imagine an area, even if the boundaries aren't clear. For example, the American South, the Middle East, or the outback in Australia. These regions exist because people share a common perception of them. Regions help geographers understand both patterns of physical and human connections across space. The fourth theme is movement. This is all about how people, goods, and items move from place to place. People move through migration and travel. For example, the movement of workers from rural locations to big cities. Goods move from one location to another through global trade networks. For instance, coffee grown in Brazil being shipped to cafes in Seattle, Washington, or in London. Ideas move through communication and technology, like K-pop music spreading worldwide. This is where cultural diffusion comes in where items and ideas, foods and traditions spread, like sushi from Japan becoming popular globally. Finally, there is the human environment interaction. This looks at how people and the environment affect each other. Humans adapt to their environment, wearing heavy coats in a Canadian winter or light clothing in Kenya's, in Kenya's heat. Humans modify their environment, building dams in the United States, rice terraces in Southeast Asia, or wind farms in Europe. Humans depend on the environment for natural resources like oil, fresh water, or farmland. This theme connects directly to global challenges like climate change, deforestation, and sustainability. So there you have it, the five themes of geography, location, place, region, movement, and human-environment interaction. These themes give us a tool to help understand not just where things are, but why they matter and how everything connects.